There's this constant struggle going on online, all the time. On one hand, there are people that post stuff onto the internet that they should not. Create a YouTube account's pretty easy. Decide to share a full-length movie with a bunch of your friends. Um, and you can do this. At the same time, there are content owners and copyright holders that are constantly searching the internet, probably using automated strategies, although I don't know exactly how this works, looking for copyrighted content, and filing various types of uh, notices that you know uh, are the first step towards legal action against people if they choose to continue to post this content. So hopefully by the time I um, this video airs, this content will be down. Uh, but there is apparently right now a copy of uh, Total Recall by Arnold Schwarzenegger that's available on. Well, it's hard to see here. Uh, available on YouTube. Um, I don't know why it's not just detectable just by the title. Um, but you know, it looks like about 150,000 people have viewed it. I have no idea what the quality is like. I haven't viewed it myself. Uh, but the whole movie, all you know, two hours and you know, uh, 13 minutes of it, Arnold Schwarzenegger at his best, is available on YouTube and, and probably should not be. Uh, let, me, let me look here. So let's see, if I, if I Google Total Recall on YouTube, um, I have the opportunity to purchase the movie, uh, which is what I should do uh, from like three bucks or something like that. So you know, so here's an example where I can save myself maybe four dollars um, by participating in copyright infringement and, and watching this movie. But this one has stars in the title, so it's clearly going to be better. Um, Anyways, this is going on all the time. And you know, it, it's tough because there's lots of content that gets posted to YouTube. Uh, full length videos constitute a large amount of information. And locating, you know, figuring out that a particular uh, video is actually copyrighted and not some sort of derivative work or something like this can actually be pretty tough. So, in certain cases, people, uh, for example, want to post uh, lyric videos for songs. You can find advice that says, well, you should change the pitch or whatever, slow it down, speed it up a little bit, um, so that the automated algorithms that these that these companies are running can't detect what that is. Um, but this is, and, and then so this is going on all the time. I like I said, I have no idea about the internals of how this works. I hope that there are mainly computer algorithms that are involved, so just search engines that are looking around trying to find copyrighted content um, and then flagging it for review by humans. I hope that there aren't people sitting in some sort of uh, you know, data center somewhere uh, watching all these videos on YouTube looking for copyrighted things because there's probably a lot of really boring stuff that gets uploaded to YouTube. But, um, but you know, there's this constant battle between you know, on, on sites like YouTube that make it possible for anybody to upload anything because a certain amount of what gets uploaded is illegal uh, because of copyright claims. Some of it may be uh, violate YouTube's terms of service in terms of depicting things that shouldn't be up there. It could be dangerous, uh, it could be violent or graphic. And so YouTube, Facebook, all these sites that curate a lot of user-generated content are constantly sort of fighting back in a variety of different ways against the impulse of certain people to post things into these forums that don't belong there. Uh, but certainly copyright holders are doing this. Um, you know, it'd be interesting to see. It looks like this has been up for about five months. Um, it's, only, uh, it's only received about 140,000 views, so maybe that's the reason it's flying under the radar screen a little bit. Maybe nobody wants to watch Shuttle Recall anymore. Maybe it wasn't a very good movie. I never saw it. Um, but who knows? And, and maybe, you know, it turns out that the copyright holders decided this is okay. I don't know why. Um, but, you know, regardless, this is up there. Um, this is copyrighted content. Uh, it's not clear it should be freely available. It's not clear that the person who posted this has the rights to post it. Um, but it's there, uh, at least for now.